Hi everyone, I am here at South Mountain State Park and today I will be riding the Mid South Mountain's main recommended loop on MTP Project. I will give you my thoughts on the loop afterwards and how it all went. So, let's get started. So I am here at the headquarters trail and I will be taking that up to Shinny Creek Campsites and beyond to the Upper Falls Trail where I will begin my loop for here and then I will come back down headquarters. And that is where the trail starts. So. So that down there is one of the new waterfalls and they have just built a trail up to it that you can access at the bridge where you cross Shinny Creek to head on up there. No bikes allowed. So these are the Shinny Creek campsites. They are about halfway up on the headquarters trail. If you are planning on making this a bike packing trip, this would be a great place to come the first night. And just be warned, you do have to reserve these ahead of time and pay the fee. So don't come here just expecting to get sight. And one of the benefits of this place is they, have, they provide free firewood for you. Also, I have finished the first bit of the headquarters trail. It is flat with several very steep and punchy climbs. And the next section is very steep for about half a mile. So thankfully that should be most of the climbing done for this first quarter. I'd like to ask if you're enjoying this video so far that you would consider giving it a like as it greatly helps me. And I hope you would consider being my newest subscriber as well. So headquarters trail. Definitely one of the toughest climbs I've done and as you can probably tell, I've resorted to hike a bike. There's a section here that gets to a 30% grade. So if you do this route, definitely plan on some hike bike here. Thankfully this is one of the longest climbs here, but it's not quite the steepest or more most difficult. Well, I made it up headquarters trail. It was quite the brutal climb to be honest, but it was pretty good and thankfully now I don't, it's pretty flat for a little while and then that was the, I think the longest climb on the trip, but I have one steeper right near the end. So there will just be short climbs from here and if you have it and are considering doing this route, I would definitely recommend it. Well, when you finish the climb, you sure get a lot of very nice views at the top, so it makes it a little bit more worth it. Well, I made it to Upper Falls Trail, so this is where the loop begins. I will be heading this way and going for about 12 miles, and then I will be coming back from that way. Looking forward to it.
Well, I made it to the junction of the tr lower Triple C Trail and Upper Falls Trail. First trail junction on the loop and planning on having a snack here and found they gave me a picnic table. So, for lunch and be on my way short. Also have a nice view heading out that way, so it is a little bit through the trees. Just left the picnic table and I'm on the lower CCC trail heading downhill finally. Got about a mile and a quarter before I have my another 300 foot feet of up. Yay! I'm on Lower CCC Trail and I just started the climb up to Ben Nap. It's quite the climb, or it feels like so far and I'm, maybe I'm just really tired. So looking forward to that, that will be like the second highest point on the loop. Go down a bunch on Ben Nap, then right back up to the same elevation, so I guess it's another pud. Looks like a fire burns through here. Well, I've made it to the top of the climb, so yeah, I got bent knob. Half of it is downhill, and the other half is uphill. So. And then it's all downhill to Upper Falls campsite. And then I would last, what I've heard, is a brutal climb, and then I'm done. Got a, an amazing view out to our right. And the dirt biker just went by, so that explains all the mud tracks and rock beats here. I just need to stop. Isn't that nice?
Well, it looks like I'm all the way at the top of the bend now to climb, so that's good news. Quite the workout. Not that steep, just I'm tired. Thankfully, it's down, it's down all the way from here to the Upper Falls Campground, where then it's the hardest up of the climb, unfortunately, to get back. So, that's a little bit disappointing, but on the bright side, we have a great view out that way. Or I thought it was almost the top anyways. Well, I made it to the top of Ben Knob Trail and thankfully it, we got a great view at the top and now it is all downhill for about four and a half to five miles to Upper Falls Campground where after that is the hardest climb of the trip, unfortunately. And anyways, I'm not quite at the top of Ben Knob. There's a cell phone tower that way, but I'm too tired. The paved section is all downhill from here. So I was definitely wrong when I thought it would be all downhill from up by Ben Nob. The topo mat looked like it was downhill, but there were some incredibly steep grades on that paved section. Thankfully now, I am almost to where Upper, upper Falls Trail, yeah, that's it. I'm almost to there, and then just, it's all, it is all downhill from here to Upper Falls Campsite. And then I'll have a snack and head on up go the last hard climb and then head down headquarters trail and I'll be done. Kind of, this has been a tough ride, but overall I've enjoyed it. Make sure you have music and I highly recommend it. 
So, quick update, I decided that I will not be heading up Upper Falls Trail to go, then go down Headquarters Trail. I'm going right up to go right back down for this. And instead, I'll be walking my bike down the no biking section of the Jacob Fort Falls Loop. It is an old road. I don't know why they don't allow biking, probably due to too many hikers. But just due to the time, the sun is already over the mountain, so I'm just feeling a little pressed here. And I'm also quite tired, so. That's very steep grade there. That is what I would be going on. But instead, I'm going down this trail, and I am walking my bike on it, because I'm too, it's half a mile down, and I have a half a mile climb that way, so it's a pretty easy decision to make. So I'm very glad I did go down that way and made it so much easier. Despite what it looks like on the top, you could not bike down that trail. But it was only half a mile, it took me maybe 10 minutes to get down. Now I'm at the flat part when otherwise I would maybe be only three quarters up that hill and then still have to go down the rough headquarters trail. So if you're up there and don't want to go up that last hill, I definitely recommend coming, going down that way. You'll go to the exact same spot as if you walk up headquarters. Well, I just finished the ride. Overall, I'd say it was enjoyable, but I wouldn't do it again. The first hill on headquarters was very brutal. It made me almost consider turning around. But after that, it got better. It was still uphill for a while. And Ben and, and ben Knob, which was should have been one of the more fun trails, because the other ones were covered in leaves and kind of muddy was open to four-wheelers and other off-road vehicles, so that was kind of annoying because there was mud pits everywhere. And then Raven Rock Trail, which I thought would be really nice, going down the paved section at a bunch of really steep hills and the topo line didn't show that. So overall, I wouldn't say it's a destination trail, but if you're in the area and want like a very hard workout, then it's good. But if you're looking for something where you can go fast or flowy, this is not the trail for you like an endurance workout trail. There's the route details you can find on MTB Project.